Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a scrapbooking process video for you today using the Felicity Jane Tory Kit. This picture is of my son on his ninth birthday and the Tory Kit is a birthday kit so it's perfect. Um, this was for the month of August and we have three birthdays in August in our family so it was perfect timing. So I used my tonic guillotine to cut my picture into a 4x4 and then I'm using this Caterpillar Pro to cut this salmon color paper into a 12x12. Now I'm using these large letter stickers that came with the kit, not letter stickers, letters that came with the kit and I'm marking off where I'm going to be placing my photo with the pencil because I want to journal on here. So for the journaling I am using my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter typecast and I always struggle with getting the cardstock in there, so they they made this typewriter for 12 by 12 typing, but they didn't take into account that cardstock is thicker than paper. <laughs> so if there was one thing I could fix about that, that would be it. So on this um, layout, I'm journaling. Uni, you are such an amazingly smart boy. Today you turned nine, and we were able to get an appointment at the Apple Store to get you an iPad as your birthday gift. You've been patiently waiting for this since the since the iPad you are currently using doesn't have much space for the games you want to play. With you being the third child, sometimes I feel like you can fall through the cracks. Know that I love you dearly and you're my favorite baby boy. So I'm writing that and our family tradition is um, that the kids for their birthdays can either A, get a large birthday gift, B, have a birthday party, and nobody's doing that with COVID, or C, go somewhere, which we're not doing that either. So he picked a large birthday gift. And we have limitations on how often they can use their iPads, so I don't worry about that part too much because they're only allowed to use it on the weekends to play games. They do use it some for school, but you know, that's that part is allowed. So I'm taking my scraps of paper from this kit and I am using my ATG gun to create some layers here and I like my layers to not um, line up evenly so they're just a little bit off kilter. Now I'm going to, um, I did one to three layers there. Now I'm putting down the letters nine. I didn't know if I was going to use the letters nine or the number nine so and it took me a while to find that. And I end up taking off the last layer because I um, it made it so that the journaling was not quite visible. So I'm using my fine liner which is filled with Scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm going to adhere the letters for nine down. You can see here I'm struggling. I'll get it here eventually. I put the Scotch quick dry adhesive into the fine line applicator bottle so that I can get some precise gluing down. I'm starting with the N in the middle of the word because I want to start that towards the middle and then work my way out. Now I made sure that the letters the colors of the letters I used were all different because I didn't want two colors to be next to each other. If I could have found one, the, the letters for nine in all the same color, I would have done that, but I didn't find that. So I'm just going to put nine here. And for each kid's birthday, I usually like to write them a long letter, but I didn't do that this year. So part of the die cuts that came with this kit had the word birthday on there, and I thought about putting that on his picture on the bottom right hand corner because there's some space right there. But I apologize you can't see this, but I'm looking through the um, branding strips. I can never remember that word, branding strips, um, to put on the bottom of this layout. Now the one I'm going to use, it looks like um, starbursts everywhere, and you'll see that in a moment. And so I apologize again. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down with my ATG gun, and I'm just going to line that to the bottom. And I decided I'm going to put the birthday die cut between the journaling and the bottom of the uh, branding strip. I'm using my Stampin' Up! Foam Dimensionals to adhere or pop up the word birthday. And you'll see that here soon. I'm cutting some of the foam dimensionals because some of them were a little bit too big um, to fit behind the word. 
after I place that down, I'm going to go look through the other die cuts and see what else I want to add to this layout. Now, I don't want to make it too busy, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Actually, most of my layouts are pretty simple. I think if you've been following me for a while, you know that. I decide to use this ticket that says Make a Wish, and I'm going to pop that up as well and put that to the top left-hand corner of the photo. I'm also going to look for other embellishments to use. And so after I peel all these off, which is such a pain, I don't know why my nails have a hard time pulling those um, foam sticker things off. Does anyone else have that problem or is it just me? <laughs> okay, so I'm looking through the other embellishments and trying to decide what to use. I'm going to take this four inch um, scallop in this hunter or olive green color and I'm going to adhere that between the birthday and the branding strip. And I'm showing you that I'm using my Kokio roller adhesive. Now the thing I love about roller adhesive is it the roller dots will only adhere to the part that you're putting the sticker on. So you don't have to fold the adhesive over, um, you know, if it was just a regular running tape. I decide I'm going to use this cake and I'm going to put some foam adhesives down on this and pop that up and put that to the right hand side of bottom of the photo. And I'm also going to use some of the die cuts that have the starburst, like the ones on the bottom of the branding strip. I'm going to take three of those in three different colors, and I'm going to put that to the three different embellishment clusters. I am using the One Canoe 2 date stamp, and I'm using the Versafine Morning Mist. That is a gray ink, and I love using gray because it's, see, it looks great next to the typewriter, and it's not as stark as black, so it doesn't take the attention away from my journaling or even from the layout. So you'll see here now that I'm going to put the foam, the starburst down, and I'm just going to use regular adhesive to put that down. I'm always pulling up my layout, you'll see, because I <laughs> always change my mind. I guess if I planned these layouts beforehand, I wouldn't be doing that. But I am showing you guys how I, this is actually my real process. All I know is I'm going to use which photo and which kit, and then the rest is just me doing the layout as you see it. So I'm using the foam adhesive to add some dimension to the photo layers um, and I just put them kind of under. I don't take the uh, both sides of the, the foam adhesive off because it's going to stick to one side and that's all it needs to stick to. So after I do that, uh, I'm not done until I ink it, right? <laughs> So I'm going to take my Nuvo Drops, this is in Blackboard, and I'm going to put three dots to the three areas of embellishments. And then I wonder if I'm done, and I am not. I decide to use the color sh Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold, and I'm spraying that into the three areas of embellishments, and then I call my layout done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And I'll see you next time.